We say thank you. They're always the last place you look. To another field. Okay, well. Smart. That's smart. Ready, Rita? Oh my gosh, look at that, y'all. Looking for cows and we can't find them. It's a little con Hope they're over this hill. Ah, there they are. There they are. They're always the last place you look. Yes, girls, you get to go to another field. Well, I have been to town this morning to get some groceries and mail. Big mail day, y'all. Got a lot of things to open. Yay. And I spy a hay vine going to mow. He's going to mow those couple little fields we went and looked at last night. So, we'll be back in a little bit of hay this hot weekend. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Okay, well, big mail day here. Uh, my son just opened rice. I got plenty of jasmine rice now. Thank you so much. Barry in Land Lakes, Florida. Yay for jasmine. <laughs> and we got something else very special. Hand delivered to the post office from Beverly. Um who lives about 30 miles from here and she just sent me the sweetest note. Thank you, Beverly. This, I can already tell this is gorgeous. I, I can't wait to get it unwrapped. Give me a second. Wow, this is really cool. Victor from Missouri sent us some handmade knives. Look at that, that's beautiful. And it's got the little leather sheath to go with it. What do you think about that, buddy? Cool. Very cool. Thank you so much, Victor, and another one. Ooh, be careful with that. That is really cool. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. And Beverly also sent these cow tails. What do you say, kids? Thank you. <laughs> they will be enjoyed. And she made this absolutely gorgeous wreath. I have to find just the right place for it. Oh, look, Bonnie Blue. Bonnie Blue. Look, Bonnie, you're on the wreath. And a cast iron skillet. It's a little, it's a baby one. Cows, corn, hay, John Deere. That could be wow. Elmo. That, yeah, Elmo. <laughs> this is gorgeous, Beverly. Thank you so much. Look at this beautiful sign made by Brian Drury. Thank you so much. It's beautiful. It's two sided. It's beautiful. We gotta hang that somewhere too. Thank you, Brian, I love it. And also, a really cool gift here from Mark Meredith, who has been a follower of my channel for a long time. Very kind, I love getting this, Mark. Um, he is a writer as well. He writes for Farmers Weekly over in the UK. And this is one of his pieces right here. And I'm not gonna butcher that name. We already know that I don't know how to say it correctly. I'll butcher it. Worcestershire? I'll, I'll butcher it. Kidder Mints. Kidder Minister Worcestershire. No, you really butchered it. <laughs> Kidder Minster Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Yeah, okay. That's all right. Y'all don't hate me. Anyway, I love this. This is great. Thank you. I can't wait to read that and all of this. Thank you so much. Y'all are way too generous. We say thank you. Thank you for the gifts. Thank, thank you for the you. support. Thank you. thank you for the support of our channel in all the ways. Gifts are, are awesome, but they're certainly not necessary. That thumbs up, subscribe, leaving your comments and sharing your stories is, um, it's all enough. So anyway, thank you. Do you, what do you want to do this afternoon? Go to the river. <laughs> he wants to go to the river and it is super hot and daddy just left to go get a tire for the tractor when he was coming in, evidently the front tire blue no it was already flat it was flat it was already flat so he's gone to get a tire and that will take several hours so we might just head to where 
The water is cool because it's definitely not cool outside. <laughs> All right, y'all are awesome. Thank you. The corn is coming up pretty good. Seems <laughs> the air conditioner feeling good, buddy. The girl said the shade feels good. Well, it feels better anyway than the alternative. <laughs> We're here. It's definitely washed out more than it was last year. This is just down or up the river from where we were the other day. Literally right around the corner. There's more rocks here. Oh my gosh, Bonnie, look at you. You're already muddy. It's, it's cool, Ma. It's cool. <laughs> Let me just drag my belly. Happy pups. Well, we made it. Set up here. Kids are in the water. I mean, it's, you know, like the beach. Except not. <laughs> huh? Should have made the rope longer. He's got himself tied to a rock so he wouldn't go drifting away. The river's moving. The river's always moving fast. Stand by you when you're falling When the river is calling I said I love you forever We can make it together What goes up must be down There's lots of friendly faces all around Well, the rain is here. <laughs> this just came up out of nowhere. He's looking at the radar. You said it says it might rain an inch. Well, and it did, man. It said three tenths. It was probably done rain at three tenths. Woo! Literally, this just started like five minutes ago. I know you can't see it because it's dark. Can you hear that? Can you hear the thunder? Okay, well, there you go. It's all gonna come in a short amount of time. <laughs> oh boy. I haven't showed Jingo in a while, but he's doing very well. <laughs> well, we ended up getting six tenths of rain last night, so that is very good. We needed it. It came down very hard, sideways, fast, but it was a good, it was a good rain, so that's good. He is going to blow and wash the cutter. He's got to replace wheel bearings on the tether so he can go ted. And uh, yeah, not a whole lot else going on today. Maybe I'll actually get some house cleaning done. Well, y'all, today has been very uneventful and somewhat unproductive. I almost feel guilty for not really doing much, but then again, I really don't. Let me tell you this though, neighbor Jim has come through and brought our first homegrown fresh tomatoes of the year. Um, ours are growing, but they're still green. So what does one do when they get the first tomatoes of the year? They make BLTs. That's what we're having for supper tonight. Um, yeah, basically that's it y'all. I vacuumed today and I vacuumed today and I'm making BLTs tomorrow. We'll do something tomorrow, something farm related, maybe. We might just go back to the river. We'll see. I'm just gonna take a little downtime while it's here and not feel guilty about it. Anyway, the dogs have also had a very unproductive day.
but they're wagging their tails. Are you happy to be inside, Clara? I'll take that as a yes. Gus, Bonnie, you happy? Okay. <laughs> this right here, y'all, is as good as it gets. White bread, bacon, fresh tomatoes, lettuce, Dukes, and yes, musket powder is amazing on tomatoes as well. If you haven't tried it, you need to. BLTM. So, BLTM. You have Bacon. cupcake all over your mouth. <laughs> Bacon, lettuce, tomato, musket powder. Mm -hmm. I like that. We'll call them BLTMs. BLTM. Yeah. Move these girls from over here to over here where we fixed fence the other day. You have to stay, puppies. <laughs> Where's Crawford Johnson, guys? And a little tractor shuffle. He's going to Ted. Hey, you replaced all four wheel bearings yesterday, right? Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah. There it is. Enjoying the grease, new grease gun. And still using the old one a little. Everything has its place. Checking fluids. What is in there? It's the engine in there. So what? <coughs> what? Um, put the oil in, baby. Oh, that's where you put the oil. Yeah. Oh, well, I saw you check, you check that. Check it right there. Right. Oh. Okay. It's really a nice morning. It's going to get hot, but the humidity seems a little lower, more bearable this morning. So that's nice. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Just looking for something to get into. <laughs> They're so silly, aren't they, Bonnie? Yeah, I might need to get in it too. No. Uh, And he's off. Almost. <laughs> Go get him, little blue. So he's off to tend that hay that he cut two days ago. It got rained on. It got six tenths of rain on it two two nights ago. So he wasn't able to Ted yesterday because he was waiting on the bearings to come in, the mail, and he got that he got them replaced yesterday afternoon. So he's gonna Ted it today. There is a slight chance of some storms this afternoon, but it's gotta be tedded. It's it's gotta be shook up to get the other rain off of it. So um if it doesn't rain again, we should be able to bail that tomorrow. So that's good. Another little piece down. And hopefully up soon, and then there'll be more in the next week or so. It's hay season. My hummers had disappeared, y'all. I was filling up three feeders once every day or two. And then for the past week or so, two weeks, they've just like disappeared. And yesterday morning there was four. There's one, I hear, there she is. Oh, yeah, I see you, girl. So, I'm glad there's one back. 
I love them. <laughs> it has been a pretty quiet weekend. Um, and I'm not gonna lie, I really haven't minded not doing a whole lot. <laughs> After last week or the last few weeks, I don't know. It's just been really busy. So, a couple days of downtime. It's been a nice welcome change. Got another busy week coming up with some other stuff I've got going on, and and we'll be we'll be busy again farming. So, just really enjoyed not having a whole lot that's had to be done the last two days. Well, y'all, neighbor Jim dropped by today and brought me. An entire gunny sack. I don't, that's not what you call this. Feed sack. Full. I don't even know what a gunny sack is. Well, y'all, neighbor Jim stopped by and brought us an entire feed sack full of corn. So, I guess this is what we're doing this afternoon, Bonnie. The boys are crop checking. The girl's playing with her, her friend that's here. I don't know. They're doing something. And mama's gonna shuck some corn. But it's really, really good. Lawrence ate an ear raw and I tasted it. So, here we go. Brush, corn, sack to put shucks in, and cleaned out buckets to put the corn in. I mean, pretty clean. <laughs> here we go. I think I'm gonna be here a while. You know what? I'm going in and getting a knife so I can go ahead and cut off the the ends that are bad. Smart. That's smart. Now we're cooking. Mmm. Coming all over my face. Why is this this is hard? Darn. Put it all over the corn. I did enlist me some help. Thanks, guys. Many hands make light the work. Have you ever heard that? Never. Well, now you have. It's true. <laughs> Whoa. Another mustache. Grease stash. Anyway, Rita's hooked up. He's taken a hay vine up to the tractor place. The head is falling down. He thinks it's something with a bushing and I'm pretty sure I relayed all that correctly. So he's gonna hook that up to the truck, do that. And then we'll be in hay this afternoon. Oh Gus. <laughs> it's gonna go everywhere. All right. Mm, I'm gonna have to be his eyes. corn from yesterday? Yeah. We ate quite a bit last night. I got more this and I took some off the cob and I'm going to try a recipe for cream corn, like homemade cream corn. I've tried it before and it wasn't amazing. So I'm going to try something different. And if it turns out amazing, I will share. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go, y'all. Okay. Woo! Are you warm in here? Yes, you are. That's okay. We're gonna get that handled shortly. Run over and get all of them. 
on the tractors and the equipment. 